Welcome friends, in this section we will study the DC supply distribution for the 132 cable line control panel. So you can see DC is coming from external to the terminal of the panel X11, 1 and 4. One is positive, one is negative and the terminal 1 and 2 and 4 and 5 are connected together. From here supply is further distributed to through the two MCBs F201 which is supplying DC supply and it is further coming back to terminal number X111 and 2 so here you can see the supply is coming to the odd number of, this, uh, of the MCB and leaving from the even number input is odd and the output is going through even numbers so another DC supply is coming from the same terminal to F202 and it is connected to the terminal 103, 1 and 2 and further you can see the supply is distributed to sheet number 31.1 and 40.1 so first we will go and check the supply which is distributed, distributed to F201 this supply is used for control supply and the another DC supply in the control panel which is used for annunciator supply so the annunciator supply, as the name suggests, is giving supply to, to an uh, annunciator, DC annunciator installed in the control panel. Whereas the control supply, which is feed through MCB201, and this supply is giving DC to the discrepancy switches and the control switches. And if you want to operate the breaker, open the breaker, close the breaker, open the isolator or the other components like R switches, the supply for this will be feed through F201. So clearly the panel has two supplies, has two MCBs. If I switch off this MCB201, an answer window will be healthy, but you are not able to operate any circuit breaker or isolators so let's go to sheet 30.1 and let's see how the loop is then connected further sheet 30 26 this is the sheet number 30 so here you can see supply is coming from sheet 20.4 this is sheet 30 and here you can see the control supply loop is named as uh, C plus and C minus it means it is a control supply so whenever you will see the loop in the drawing showing plus and minus it is a DC supply and C is used for control and it is feed as we know now through MCB201 which is a control supply so let's go back again to check so here you can see the control supply is feed through 201 and the name given in the in the loop of uh, anywhere if you see this c plus c minus fine is feed through 201 and it is used for controlling whereas for annunciation the mcb which is used is 202 and the loop is named as a plus and a minus so let's see if you see any loop so here you can see this is rc plus we will see this loop also what does it mean rc minus then you can see c plus this is coming from control that we were checking and it is going to sheet 31.1 so this is sheet 31.1 again C plus is coming and after going through several relays it is connected to sheet 32.1 and here you can see it's coming from 30 C again the same loop C plus and from different components going to sheet 34 this is a positive this is a negative go to sheet 34 and this is the sheet 34 again you can see C plus is going through different components sheet number 50.3 so we go to sheet number 50.3 
so this is sheet number 50.3 so here you can see this loop again which is control supply loop so you can see that transducers uh, voltmeters digital power meters these are all energized through the control supply loop uh, loop in the scheme so at the end when the loop is ending you can find here that uh, supervision relay voltage supervision relay installed so if the loop is open anywhere why is open why is that this relay will be switched off and when this relay is switched off it will give alarm and indication that the supply this supply has been control supply has been failed so 50.7 you can see one contact is used on the same sheet the light will be on as soon as the supply is fail this is supervision lamp control supply healthy so this is reverse if the if this is picked up this contact will be picked up and the light will be on it is continuously on light so if the light is off it means that control supply is failed so another contact is used at sheet number 21.4 so we will see where is this contact so f27.1 so here you can see when the relay is energized always picked up and when the supply is failed the normal course contact will pass phase voltages here and the relay k7 will pick up which is energizing through ac supply and k7 will pick up contact k7 it will pick up 5 and 9 will close and the light will show that the control supply is failed so this is the uh, one loop that we have study in the same way you can this is the assignment for you that you can check the annunciator annunciator supply loop yourself and you can trace how it works and how the indication works thank you very much